Hi guys, I just wanted to show you this power tech. Reusable adhesive, removable, non-toxic. I, f I bought this at the Dollar Tree about a year ago, and I know they do still sell it because I go to the Dollar Tree and I see it there. And um, I need to buy some more, actually. But just showing you, I'm going to show you what I use it for. You can use it for a lot of things, to hang up posters and stuff like that. If it's a very thin uh, paper, it will leave an oil residue. I usually don't use it for anything else, just for um, just for my nails my nail art stuff. So that, that's the whole package. That's how the package looks. It's um, 3.5 ounces, but it's pretty big as you can see. Look at how, I mean, by my hand, it's a pretty big package. Inside it'll come like this, and then I've already used one side because I have had this for a year. And then it looks like this. It's in little strips. What I do is I usually peel, pull it, and cut it, or just use little scissors and cut little squares. But this is how it looks. It's almost like gum, pretty much gum. Anyway, let me put that away. I already cut a little piece. This is a little piece that I cut. I roll it up into a little ball. I put it on my... I put it on my fake nail. I'll just put it like that. And then I get my fake nail. And, I, and then, so it's on, on my finger, on my fake finger. I put it on there, roll it into a little ball. Not, don't let it get too hot. And then I put my fake nail on there and I just push it down. And that allows me to work on my nail without it, without me having to get my hands dirty or, you know, somewhere where my nail can stay. And that's how I do nails for people. And um, that's how I'm able to do a lot of them because I have a few fingers. I have like 20, 20 fingers. So I'm able to do two sets at a time. Um, able to leave this on for as long as I want. I left it on for weeks or whatever and it still comes out just the same. I'm able to put this in the um, in the lamp, in the UV lamp. Nothing happens to it. If it gets a little bit if you do leave it on there for a long time it will start cooking but if it's two to five minutes you're okay. Um, what else? If you get um let me show you. If you put too much and this happens where it starts bulging out on the side and you happen to get nail polish on that, it's awesome because when you take off the nail it'll stay on here or it won't stick to the nail polish. It will the nail polish will not cook on there. And um I put UV, a UV top coat on all of my nails that I do, if they're press on nails. So, I mean, in this, and it's reusable. Once I use it on my nail, I don't throw it away. If it's still good to be used, I keep using it. It doesn't stick at all to the nail. At all. And if it does stick or something, I just roll it over again the nail. Roll, roll it over the nail, like this, and then um, it comes right off. That's one of the things I use it for. Another thing I use it for is my handy dandy rhinestone. This is an old dotting tool. As you can see, it's all raggedy. It's a dotting tool, very thin. That's why I don't use it because it's too small. What I did is this is that power tech from the Dollar Tree. It was a dollar. I rolled it up to a little ball. Put it on there. And then I just pushed it. Went around it. And there you go. That's all you do. You just kind of fix it and so that way you can get your, um, your own stones or whatever you need to get.
like it a lot. And, um, yeah, and it stayed on there. I haven't really had any big problems with it. You just fix it really good, um, around your tool or whatever you use. You could even use a toothpick or, um, or a cuticle nail pusher. You could put it on that too. And it works fine. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I use it for. Hope you guys um, will try it out. It's a, it's a, it's a great tool because a lot of people will put um, hot glue on their nails, on their fake nails, and then they put it on their finger. And that's I didn't like that idea. I didn't like it. I tried it. It didn't work out too great. And plus, you can't take the nail off. You can, but I don't like the way it came out. So if you, you guys, this is an idea for you guys to, um, if you're going to go and buy um, press-on nails, and you can work on them. You can buy press-on nails at Walmart for about 5 bucks. They'll give you about 100 or 200 sets of nails, full or short. And, uh, yeah, you guys can just do this. Another way you can use it is also, um, you get, you get your cuticle pusher, let me put this down, sorry guys, you get your cuticle pusher, you set it right there, and then you get your nail, if you don't have, and there you go, in case you don't have, um, the fingers. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't, it doesn't fall off. Now if you do press, put a lot of pressure on it, then it will, it'll pop out. But for regular nail polishing, you guys are fine. These are the nails that I've been working on. Pink Hello Kitty with some little stripies. I did these earlier today. Just came out pretty cool. This is another one I'm going to show you guys how to do. Pretty cool. And, um, uh, which other one? I think I did that one. This one's the one I did. And I'm using that power tech to hold it. And let me show you guys. Okay. And we'll just peel it off. Can't do it right now because I'm only using my hand. There you go. Just peel it off, and that's it. 